What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and if you want to have me hop on a panel or you want to collaborate with me, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is my email address, and please follow me on Twitter as well. You can follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. Again, that's on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. But let's get it popping, man. Let's get it popping in today's video. And today, Rolly Romero said he going to knock Tank Davis out, bro. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it a little bit, respond to what he had to say, and um, give you all my thoughts on the whole situation. Before I do, though, don't forget about my live show every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. Y'all come hang out with me for a fun night of boxing talk again. That's every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also reach me. Uh, you can also watch our live show that I do with KQKC Boxing Network. So y'all go subscribe to KQKC Boxing Network. Um, we go live together every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. We switch channels, so you need to go ahead and subscribe to both of us so you can know whose platform we're going to be on each Sunday. This Sunday coming up, um, we'll be on my channel, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, right after the Jamel Heron and um, Shakur Stevenson fight. So it's going to be a fun morning of boxing talk that morning as well. But let's get it popping, bro. So Raleigh Romero, here's what he had to say, bro. Here's what he had to say. He says, uh, Tank's going to get knocked the F out. And whoever believes otherwise can go F themselves. The best thing about Tank is that he's a puncher. And I'm a bigger puncher and a bigger person. What the F does he have? I punch way harder than him. Ask anyone that knows us both. They'll tell you straight up, I'm going to knock him the F out. I'll do it in one round. He's going to run into something. So that's Roland Ramirez's thoughts. Let me first say the confidence I got no issue with. The confidence I got no issue with, he's supposed to talk like that. So this, is, this will not be a video where I criticize Roland Romero for feel, feeling that way, bro. Because at the end of the day, he deserves respect for, number one, signing that paper and stepping into the ring with Tank Davis. And number two, talking and behaving as if he's someone that's coming to win. You can't get on to a fighter, bro, for saying he going to win. Like, at the end of the day, what's your alternative? You got two alternatives. If a fighter don't believe he can win, he or she can win. And they don't say he or she can win. They can only say two other things. They can say, I'm going to lose or I'm going to give it my best shot. Which is basically saying, I don't think I can win too. So, as a boxing fan, I much more prefer you to be confident. I want you to go in trying to win. And, again, I respect people that try to win, bro. Like, that's never going to change. I done told y'all, Miguel Burchell got his ass knocked out. Got his ass completely and utterly stopped by Oscar Valdez. But I respect him, and I walked away from that fight knowing he did everything he could to win because he got up, he was hurt multiple times in that fight, and he got knocked out throwing a punch moving forward. He got knocked out throwing a punch moving forward. So Burchell gets my respect. You know what I'm saying? Same for Deontay Wilder. He got knocked out moving forward, taking shots, trying to knock someone out, throwing punches, bro. If you get knocked out throwing punches and trying to win and showing great heart and great grit, I'll never have an issue with you as a fighter, bro. Now, I may say some guys are better than you. I may say that you're not on the level of, of, of this other fighter or you can't do what these other fighters did X, Y, Z because that's just me analyzing your skills and, and where you stand in, in terms of the pecking order in, the, in a particular division. But I'm not going to sit up here and disrespect Raleigh Romero for saying he going to knock Tank out. I'm not going to do it. What I will say to him and to his fans or to anyone who thinks um, that he... Is telling the truth here. I'll say a couple of things. You don't punch harder than Tank. You don't. Um, because part of punching power is how that power is delivered. And even if you think his power is on par with Tank in terms of just the basic he hits as hard as Tank, who delivers their power better? It's not close, right? The more skilled fighter. The more skilled fighter. And then I would, I would argue, I would question, okay, if you hit harder than Tank, why couldn't you get rid of Jackson Marinez? The same Jackson Marinez that got stopped by Richard Comey. 
So does Richard Comey hit harder than Tank? And so you can poke holes in Roland Ramirez's argument, um, Roland Romero, I'm sorry, in his argument um, pretty easily, but what you can't do is poke holes in his, his mindset and him saying he wanna win. But the overall point of this video, does he punch harder than Tank? Hell no, nah, I don't think so, bro. Because I don't just look at how hard a fighter hits. Do you have power in both hands? What's your technique level? Do you have to load up on your punches? Can people see your power coming? And see, the thing, the difference between Roley and Tank is you can see Roley's wide ass, looping ass punches coming. You can see it coming because he doesn't quite have the hand speed. You can see it coming because he doesn't quite have the skills. You can see it coming because all of his shots are looping shots. Some of Tank's shit you can't see coming because he's so explosive, because he's so skilled, because his hands are so fast. So, I don't think it's close. I don't think it's close. And I'll say this to Roland Romero and his fans too. If that's what you're banking on, bro, if that's what you're banking on is that you're going to win because you punch harder, bro, I, I, really, I really don't think you understand the level of fighter that you might be in the ring with, bro. Like... That wide-ass stance, bro, them looping-ass shots, that shit ain't gonna work, fam. That aggressive-ass come forward, that shit gonna get your ass countered and caught and put to sleep, bro. So I hope Roller Romero got a game plan other than thinking he just gonna come in, be the bully, um, and, and do Tank Davis how he did Anthony Yiggy, bro. Because when you come in like that, bro, it's gonna be some shit coming back at you that you not gonna see. And we gonna find out. We gonna find out just how big... Roland Romero's heart is in this fight. We're going to find out just how big his heart is in this fight. Because he's going to get caught clean. We're going to find out about his chin. We're going to find out about his heart. I feel like I already know about Roly's skills, bro. I just feel like they ain't there. Like, no disrespect to him. No disrespect to his team or his fans, anybody that's rooting for him. I feel like his skills ain't there. I feel like the stance is too wide. The defense is, is too... It's too, it's too loose. His punch placement and his, his combinations, they garbage to me. That leaning down with a wide-ass stance, trying to jab, leaning down all the time, bro, that's going to get his ass caught. And so I feel like I know about the skills. What I don't know is the heart. Because, see, with his punching power, the, if he got a, a big-ass heart, he got a great chin where he can take shots, he can give some fighters some problems that are more skilled than him just because he can be a bigger dog, had a heart, had a chin, and maybe they're not going to be as talented and as skilled as Tank, and maybe he can catch him with a shot. So there will be some people that he can give problems. There will be. But to what he's actually saying in this, while I appreciate the confidence and while I respect the confidence, I got to say I 100% wholeheartedly disagree, bro. I can't see Roley Romero, and I'm not picking the fight yet, but y'all probably will know who I'm picking before I even pick the damn fight. I will say, Roley Romero's only shot in this fight is, a, is I don't want to call it a lucky punch, but I will call it a punch that we don't see coming. He going to have to hit Javante Davis with some shit he can't see. And even then, we know Tank Davis got a great chin, bro. We seen him take clean shots. From punches with much better technique than Roland Romero, and he just walked through it. So, even catching a clean shot on Tank might not be enough. Because what if he catch him with a clean shot, and Tank take his power? Extraordinary. Then Roland got a problem on his hands. He already got a problem on his hands, but I'm just giving y'all my, my thoughts, bro. So, cool. You think you're going to knock him out? Talk your shit, Roland. Talk your shit. Believe that. Every day in camp, believe that. Press conferences, believe that. Just do me a favor, bro. I need you to be. I need you to be like Caleb Plant, bro. I need you to be like Caleb Plant. And here's what I mean. Do not be one of these fighters like this shit was to TMZ. That's cool, bro. Talk your shit to them. But please, Roly, when you get in the press conference, when you get in the way in and shit. Please don't make me lose respect for you and make sure you keep that same energy, bro. Be sure to keep the same energy, the same way that you're talking to these interviews, the same way you talk on social media. I need you to have that same bravado. I need you to have that same confidence. I need your chest poked out. 
when you get in Tank Davis's face, bro, when y'all doing the face off and shit, when y'all, you know, only a few feet apart doing the press conference and shit, I need you to keep that same energy, man, because that's going to make the build up fun. That's going to get people believing in you more. And that's going to give somebody like me the um the thought that you really come in there to win. Don't come to these press conferences. Don't come to this weigh-in on some meek shit, bro. Don't be no meek. You know, I'm just happy to be here, man. You know, it's going to be a great opportunity. It's going to be a great fight. Nah, bro. With how you been talking, you got to stand on that shit and talk your shit. And that's what I mean by Caleb Plant. I ain't saying I'm picking Caleb Plant to win. I damn sure ain't saying I'm picking Roller to win. What I'm saying is I like how Caleb Plant, he said what he said about Canelo on Twitter, bro. On social media. He did that. But then when he got in Canelo's face, it didn't change. He kept the same energy. I need Roller Romero to do this shit. You saying you're gonna knock Tank out? You saying he too little? You saying he punch harder? You even said you're gonna knock him out in the first round. Cool, bro. Cool. Say all that same shit. Keep all that same energy when you get face to face with that man, or you you bigger than him. So when you get you know face to chin with him, whatever, whatever, bro. Talk your shit. Believe in yourself. It'll make fans believe in you too. It'll make fans believe you got a shot. Some of us at least. And it'll make it'll make the fight, you know, sell more and be a, a bigger attraction. But all in all, I don't think we can criticize Roller Romero for believing in himself, bro. We can't criticize these comments. We can't be running around here, man, who is he to talk shit to Tank? He ain't did shit. We can't be like that, bro. We can't be like that. We can't be on no fanboy shit enough to where we don't we don't respect fighters talking their shit and believing in themselves, bro. Because you only got three things you can do as a fighter. You can either believe you're going to win the fight, just be there to give a great fight, or think you're going to lose the fight. The other two options, if I'm just here to put on a good fight, or I'm going to lose the fight, those two options, they trash, bro. Every fighter should believe that they're going to win and should come to win the fight, not just to lay down, bro. But that's my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. The Roller Ramiro's comment saying he going to knock Tank the fuck out. Excuse my language, but that's what he said, not me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know y'all thoughts. Comment down below, smash the like button for me, um, hit that notification bell so you can know when we drop our content. Check out my live show every every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and our other live show that we do, 9 a.m. Central on Sunday mornings with KQKC Boxing Network. Follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out of here, y'all. Peace.